Now what I'm standing in front of could have killed us, could have killed the wife and I. Now what I'm standing in front of could have killed us, could have killed the wife and I. This is our old um, heater AC unit and there's the compressor. This was trashed out. We had some air conditioning issues. We had a uh, guy come out, took a look at it. He red tagged our heater because there was cracks in the uh, heater exchange as well as the backup heater exchange. So there was carbon monoxide flowing into our house straight from the unit. He told us after we already signed and already bought a new system in the whole works that we're lucky to be alive, which was really, you know, kind of bizarre. I, most people would tell you that ahead of time. Um, company we got is a good company. Now, I've taken these apart. I went ahead and tore these apart because I can still get money out of these. A lot of people don't understand that when they're bringing in a new unit, everything connected to that, even the new pipes that they don't use or the extra uh, pieces, any of the extra parts or anything are yours still. So as a reseller, I tore it apart, yanked out all the aluminum, yanked out 20 some odd pounds of copper. I even was able to save the blower. I've got somebody to buy the blower and I've got somebody to buy the actual fan itself too. So even something as simple as an old AC unit sitting out by the street is something you can make a hundred plus bucks out of any day of the week. And believe it or not, I run into, you know, home AC units, heaters and things like that quite often just sitting at the trash. Now, I don't have the time or energy to mess with them for the most part, but if you've got the time and the space, there's a lot that can be done with these. Now, obviously I could take the steel and recycle it. I'm going to let them pick it back up when they finish the install uh, tomorrow. Now, the fan still works. Old or not, the unit itself is an older one. The fan is a newer one that's been replaced. It has all new electronics and the whole works. We've saved everything with it. I can get easy 50 to 75 bucks for the fan. Now we may keep it and use it to cool off the garage and mount it in the wall or something, but the blower, I've already got somebody who's gonna give me 75 bucks for it. You're gonna use it for a hood. The electronics here, this is the whole electronic system. The motherboard that's on that is a fairly new one, so that can get me 75 to 125. So add it all up. I mean, there's a lot involved here. Now, this is my fuse box from the old AC. Let's just show you if I can get it open with one hand. I don't know if I can. So obviously they pulled the breaker, they used it in the new one. Well, I have a breaker. This will be used to mount our uh, kiln. So I've already got the wiring set up and the whole works to run it with a, with a shut off here. There's about 20 pounds of copper, the old copper. The shiny stuff you see there is what was left over from the new copper they used to run it, as well as the small copper pieces there. Some more copper right here. Now, this is the main coil for the AC itself also. Most all of the centerpiece here is all aluminum. These things weigh like, I don't know, 40 pounds or so. Between the copper that's still on there, there's a bunch of copper, including some nice sized copper pipes and fittings. If you take a blowtorch, you can just heat this all up and then take a screwdriver. These will all pop off. I've done it three or four times. I know it's very easy. I've got a blowtorch in there in the garage. So I can just heat this up. These will all fall out. I pull off this metal and the rest is all clean aluminum. And again, there's all told at least 30 pounds or so of copper when you add up all of this, all of the pipes over there. Copper's a couple dollars a pound, maybe three something a pound, I think last time I checked. A good amount of aluminum, as I said, this is all aluminum. I'll have to knock off this face plate here, but the rest of it is all aluminum, as you can see. And this is the old coils from the unit itself. It's not as sharp as you'd expect on some of these and there's probably another 10 pounds or so of aluminum right there now aluminum's not expensive nothing big and bad but and i'm going to save these pieces of piping for uh some of the garage work and stuff we have to do it's not going to be for drinking water so it doesn't matter i've got a decent piece of pipe there i can use for something as well too no sense in throwing it away i don't care it'll save me uh, five ten bucks and in, in pipes but aluminum wise, my son's gonna melt these all down. He's gonna turn them into blocks and he'll probably end up you know, selling them from there. We'll get the copper off and the whole works.
So there's money to be made in all sorts of different things, even something stupid like this. This uh, intake duct right here, I can get 15 or 20 bucks for. The valve I can actually use. There's some more electronics, and then I've got some more wire and some other little parts and sensors. Now I pulled out all the parts that were you know, recently installed. I also have new parts that were bought extra. So all told, it's gonna help eliminate 300 plus dollars worth the cost of getting this unit put in. So obviously a unit like that, you know, a whole house unit, you can kind of see the new ones sitting back there, but the whole house unit we paid in cash, that gave us, I think they gave us 5% off, which was close to $1,000 off the price of the install if we paid in cash. Um, apparently most people don't don't pay in cash, so it's a credit thing, so most times they're paying credit fees and the whole works. Now I also have a home warranty, which the seller had to pay for. So with that home warranty, we got over $2,000 credit as well. So we already got $3,000 knocked off. Now I didn't really want to do this now, paid to have cables run and trenches dug, all kinds of stuff out here. So again, with recycling stuff and scrapping the metal, Every dollar is, is helpful. There's, geez, close to three, four hundred dollars probably in saleable parts, usable parts, you know, scrap parts as well. So, you know, we do what you can. You lower the cost down any way you can. And as a reseller, again, any way I can make a few bucks back on something, it's perfect. And scrap metal, I always like. My son will probably melt down the copper, probably take it in and if he does want to scrap it out and scrap it in, you know, bars or something. And he sells them sometimes too. There's people that will buy copper bars for more than the value of the copper to have a bar shaped. And my son's got a bar mold and all that. So anyway, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of opportunities. Even junk stuff like this can still get you some decent money. Again, it doesn't look like much. The blower alone can cost two or three hundred dollars on its own. It's something you can sell. The fan as well, as long as they still work, you can show that they work. They were in a working unit. The coils were leaking was part of it, and obviously the heat exchanger was cracked, rusted in two or three spots, enough to cause some damage. So at the end of the day, I'm going to get some money back as a reseller. I'm going to sell some of this. We've got some scrap to do with it. You know, I, I lowered the cost the best I can, but now we have a brand new AC unit in there and heater and the whole works. I don't have to worry about it. It's guaranteed for 20 years. It's got a warranty with everything, parts, labor, the whole works. So, you know, bad timing. Yeah, but at least we were able to alleviate a ton of the price through paying in cash, scrapping out metal, saving the parts home warranty and the whole works so anyway don't pass up opportunities don't look beyond stuff that you know can make you some money there's a ton of people who make a large amount of money driving around and picking up you know appliances and, and junk like that even the steel and metal from a washing machine can get you 30 or 40 bucks sometimes depending on you know what type of washing machine it is and just scrap steels 50 cents to 64 cents I think right now for scrap value so metal wise we do scrap metal quite often I do buy brass I do buy bronze. I've got buckets of it in there that once we get, you know, 40, 50 pounds of it, then I take it in. They're big uh, five gallon buckets. So again, there's always ways to make money free. People throw out this type of stuff all the time refrigerators down by the street, washers, dryers. There's all types of electrical parts in those that can still work and that you can sell. TV breaks, I either fix it, you know, replace the part that I determine it is, or I sell the other parts that still worked. That's just the way it is. You can get a multi-test meter. You can check out what works, what doesn't work. Chances are, knowing what happens to the appliance, you can usually part out the pieces. I've, I part out anything I can, honestly. And that's the best way to do this. It's free money. This is stuff. All of this stuff here is stuff that they would have taken and just re recycled themselves and got the money out of it. Why let them have it? I mean, that's, that's the point. You're spending you know, a ton of money on a whole new unit why not get something back lower the cost right off the bat well that's what i have for you today hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends